find the exponential equation that passes through the given points. We're given the points 2, 150 and 5, 2,343.75. So to do this, we're actually going to create a system of equations. And we're going to solve that system using a technique, a different technique than you, we talked about with, say, linear equations. All right, so first, what are we trying to find? An exponential equation. So y equals a times b to the x. So let's take these two points. Remember, these points are an x value and a y value. An x value and a y value. Now, good habit to build here is, let's work with the, the point with the higher x value first. So using the, using the second point first, what I could write is, 2,343.75 is equal to a times b to the fifth power. y, the y value, is equal to a times b to the x value. Now, using the first point, 150 is equal to a times b to the second. Now, I have a system of equations here, but adding and subtracting won't work. Instead, what we're going to use is a multiplication or division. In fact, we're going to use division. I'm going to divide the left-hand sides. I'm going to divide the right-hand sides. Dividing the left-hand sides, 2,343.75 divided by 150 is 15.625. Now on the right-hand side, a divided by a is 1. All right, a divided by a is 1. b to the fifth divided by b to the second. If you remember your rules for exponents, that would be b to the 5 minus 2 is 3. And so we have b to the third is equal to 15.625. Now this is a power equation. So now to solve the power equation, we're going to use a power. Raising both sides of the equation to the one-third power, We have 15.625, and we'll raise that to the one-third power. That's 2.5. So b is 2.5. And so we have one of the parameters of the model. We have the b value. Now we need the a value. So we go back to either one of the original equations. I'm going to use the easier one. We have 150, I say easier because it has smaller numbers. 150 is equal to a times b to the second. Well, now that I know b is 2.5, so I have 150 is equal to a by 2.5 to the second. So 150 is equal to a times 6.25, and now we have a times 6.25 is 120. Let me divide by 6.25. Going through this division, a is 24. So we have a is 24 and b is 2.5, so therefore our function, our equation, is equal to y equals 24 by 2.5 to the x. And of course we could check our work through simple substitutions. Let's just check the second point. What's 24 times 2.5 raised to the fifth power? 2,343.75. It checks out.
So let's look at another one. Find the exponential equation that passes through the given points 1, 2240 and 5, 57.344. Again, we want y equals a times b to the x, and I'll use the second point first. 57.344 is equal to a times b to the fifth, using the, then the first point. 2240 is equal to a times b to the first. Dividing the left-hand sides, dividing the right-hand sides. 57.344 divided by 2240 is 0.0256. A's divide out. B to the fifth divided by B to the first is B to the fourth. Again, this is a power equation. Raise both sides to the one-fourth power. So let me take my answer and raise that to the one-fourth power. And that gives me 0.4. So B is 0.4. Now let me use that in my first equation. I'm sorry, my second equation, 2240 is equal to A times b to the first, so 2240 is equal to a times 0.4 to the first, which is just 0.4. Divide through by the 0.4 on both sides. 2240, divide that by 0.4, is 5,600. Right, and then write the model. Y equals 5,600 by 0.4 to the x. And again, we could check that if we wanted.